One of the craziest things about being human is the knowledge of our own death. And it's possible to think that animals get an easy ride because they don't have to think about it like we do. But it's starting to seem like it's a little bit more complex than that, and we're learning more about how animals behave when one of their friends or family dies. It seems like they experience grief just like we do, and even have rituals for their dearly departed. From the monkey who mourns its mechanical friend, to the tiger who's in mourning, here's 20 ways animals say goodbye to the dead. <sighs> Number 20. Distraught Monkeys Mourn Death of Robotic Monkey Spy A group of pretty sad-looking monkeys were caught on camera mourning the loss of a robotic baby monkey that had been killed during filming. This is how monkeys say goodbye to the dead. BBC Spy in the Wild was using a robot to watch Langer monkeys share babysitting duties. But then the robot had an Asimo on the stairs moment and died. Well, after being yeeted by one of the real monkeys by a mistake. The monkeys seem to be comforting each other because they thought the robot was one of them. You can see that monkeys are trying to get close to the baby robot monkey. The older monkey's even trying to get the baby robot monkey down from the tree so he can look at it. But the big monkey drops the robot by accident and the robot monkey baby dies. The next thing that happens is an amazing scene. All the monkeys gather around the dead monkey as a sign of grief and mourning. All the noise they were making at first just stopped and they were giving each other a big hug. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Tiger Grieves Her Dead Mate Poachers had killed all of the tiger in India's Sariska Reserve by the end of 2013. This was a huge setback in the fight to keep this valuable species from going extinct, but conservationists are now fighting back. This beautiful movie follows a female tiger and a hot-tempered male tiger for 18 months as they try to set up their new territory, learn how to hunt, and avoid poachers. Sadly, the male tiger died after a scared villager shot it. After that, the female looked for him for several days. You can really tell that she's feeling something. It breaks your heart to see animals cry out in pain because they can't find their loved one. Poor girl. It hurts even more to know that their species is in danger. Because of hunting, India's tigers were almost extinct by the end of the 20th century. Between 1990 and 2006, the number of tigers dropped a lot. In 2008, India only had 1,411 tigers left. But according to the most recent census, in 2018, India has 2,967 tigers, which is 70% of the world's total. It's hard to believe how fast the population has grown. From 2008 to 2018, the number of tigers has doubled. With all the work that's been done to protect them, their population is likely to grow even more in the coming years, which is wonderful news for these magnificent big cats. Number 18. Mother Pilot Whale Grieves Over Dead Calf Blue Planet 2 won a BAFTA TV award for a heart-wrenching episode about a mother pilot whale who was depressed about the death of her baby. The legendary David Attenborough was in charge of the show, which was a big hit. One of the most memorable parts of this second season was when a mother pilot whale seemingly wept over her dead calf, which died because of plastic pollution. When the episode came out, people all over the world cried with her as David told the story of a mother whale who couldn't let go of the body of her dead calf. It's believed that plastic trash in the sea got into the mother's milk and killed the calf. Pilot whales have big brains and definitely feel complex emotions, maybe even more complex than our own. Number 17. Emperor Penguin Mourns the Death of Chick I didn't think two blueberry emperor penguins would make me cry today, but well, here we go. It's not clear how the chick died, but seeing its tiny lifeless body is enough to make anyone sad, and then you have to deal with what the mother does next. The mother pokes her poor chick gently with her beak to see if there's any signs of life. She instinctively moves it towards her pouch, which is the only thing she has to offer, but it's too late. In what might be the most heartbreaking part of the video, a penguin friend waddles over to the mother and rests her head on his shoulder. It's not scientific to say these animals have feelings we don't know they have, but it's strange that this scene could just as easily be two humans crying over the death of a child. The mother pushes the chick closer to her with her feet, then throws her head back and bleats into the air. Her friend does the same thing in solidarity. During the winter months in Antarctica, female emperor penguins only lay one egg. After that, they leave the inland colony and walk 50 to 200 kilometers back to the ocean to feed and rest. So this is a huge loss and she'll have to wait another year for a second chance. Number 16. Cat tries to revive his dead friend. 
This is Chewie the cat. Sadly, she's lying here after losing her battle with jaw cancer. Before burying Chewie, her owner decided to let the other big cat, Big Boy, go and take a look so that Big Boy wouldn't be confused about where his companion had gone. Seems like Big Boy understood just what was going on and won't be confused anymore. In fact, after a little while, Big Boy gets kind of frantic and seems to be trying to revive his dead friend. Finally, Chewie is taken away forever and Big Boy stays in the same spot before turning to the wall looking very sad. The owner did this so Big Boy wouldn't go looking for his friend and end up being run over by a car. But the owner also revealed that Chewie hated Big Boy and never let him get this close. But you can still be sad when someone you didn't get on with dies. Number 15. Peccaries appear to mourn their dead. In 2017, an eight-year-old boy in central Arizona named Dante DeCourt saw a dead collared peccary near his home. For a school science fair project, he set up a camera nearby that turned on when it sensed movement. The camera was a gift from his grandparents for his birthday. He had no idea that his school project would give him a very important look at how these animals deal with death. In the videos, the surviving peccaries pay close attention to the body by nuzzling, biting, sniffing, and staring at it. They slept next to the body and tried to move it by putting their noses under it and pushing up. When a group of coyotes came up to their dead friend, the herd chased them away. Dante was surprised that they would fight back against coyotes. But were they sad? From the footage alone, it's hard to say for sure. It's not clear if these actions were caused by sadness. The best sign that the animal was grieving was that it slept next to the body, which can't be explained by curiosity, territoriality, or anything else we can think of. As more and more research is being done on how animals feel when one of their groups dies, it seems we'll soon have a better idea of their true motivations. Number 14. The Grief of the Lion There could be more than one reason why lions kill young. It's common, for example, for outsider male lions to kill the cubs of a defeated father lion after the intruder male wins over the pride and the lionesses by killing the father. Kind of like in The Lion King. And it seems the mother lion does feel sad when the male kills one of her cubs. When their cubs die, they're known to behave unusually and make different sounds to show how sad they are. In the wild, it's also been seen that some lionesses eat their dead babies to help them deal with the loss. Which is not what humans do, usually, but hey. It's also been observed that lionesses do a lot to keep a new male who's taken over the pride from killing their cubs, even though it's an inevitable ritual in lion behavior. Number 13. Horse lays his head on a coffin as he mourns the loss of his human best friend. Sometimes the connection between people and animals is so pure and so strong that it goes beyond what most people think is possible. Wagner Figurido de Lima and his horse Sereno were kind of in this situation. The two were from Pariba, Brazil, and they were always together. Wagner died in a terrible traffic accident when he was just 34 years old. His family, friends, and especially his favorite horse were all very upset by his death. On the day of Wagner's funeral procession, his brother Wando decided to bring Sereno with him because he knew his best friend would want him to be there. This shows just how much love the two of them had for each other. The horse seemed to know that Wagner was in the coffin as it passed by. He walked up to the car and started sniffing around. Then, as a last farewell, he laid his head down gently. The horse whimpered and stomped his feet all the way to the cemetery showing that he was upset and sad about his friend's death. Serena won't be going very far, which is great news for Wagner. The horse will be joining his brother and his family. Their friendship will always be remembered because it showed again how amazing it is that animals can have powerful feelings. Number 12. The Sad Death of Eaglets at Decora Eagles North Birds can definitely mourn because they have the same components of their brains, hormones, and neurotransmitters that we do. This means they can basically feel the same things we do. But if birds do feel sad, it seems like some can get over it faster than others. For example, in the 1900s, scientists took away one half of a mated pair of wild birds so they could watch what happened to the other half. The bird that had just lost its partner often found a second one quickly. Some widowed birds found a new partner within 30 minutes. Jeez, that must have been a pretty big feathery argument when the scientists let the original bird go back home again. In this clip, we see some eaglets and another eagle mother. It's a pretty sad truth that life as a young bird can be brutal due to the pecking order. This is where the strongest chicks will sometimes kill their siblings so they have the best chance of survival. But is it still an emotional experience for them? It's hard to tell. Nature favors whatever helps the animal survive best, and that sometimes entails cold-blooded fratricide. Number 11. Magpie Death Ritual 
The magpie doesn't have a very good reputation when it comes to kindness, because it's kinda mean and eats other young birds. But some experts say that the predator may have a softer side, feel grief, and even hold funerals for friends that died. Dr. Mark Beckoff says that the rituals in which birds put wreaths of grass around dead animals on the side of the road show that animals have complex feelings. The claims are likely to start a new discussion about whether emotions are something only humans have or if they're found in all animals. Other studies have shown that gorillas can mourn, rats can feel empathy, and cats can be friends with each other. Dr. Beckoff of the University of Colorado is an expert on animal behavior. He studied four live magpies and a dead magpie as proof that animals have moral intelligence. He said, One went up to the body, gently pecked at it like an elephant would sniff the body of another elephant, and then stepped back. The same thing happened with another magpie. Then one of the magpies flew away, came back with some grass, and put it next to the dead body. <laughs> Another bird also did the same thing. Then they all waited for a few seconds, and one by one they flew away. After writing about the funeral, he got emails from people who had seen magpies, ravens, and crows do the same thing. Critics have said that people who think animals have feelings are guilty of anthropomorphism, which is when you give animals human traits. But Dr. Beckoff says that humans and animals developed emotions because they helped people and animals survive. Number 10. Grieving Parrot Grief isn't just something that happens to people. Sinbad, an African gray parrot, lived with its owner for 25 years. Their last goodbye was caught on video and it's now going viral. Anyone who has ever had a pet can tell you it's not only people who feel sadness. Dogs in particular are known to show their sadness in ways that are a lot like how people do. And cats also feel sad, but maybe in a bit more quiet, distant way. There's always a connection between a person and their pet no matter what kind of animal it is. After a life around them ends, they go through a time of adjusting just like people do. Even if in the wild two animals are enemies, it's hard to lose a friend. A video that went viral showed a bulldog crying over the death of his friend a guinea pig. There are sad animals all over the wild kingdom. When an elephant dies, all of the rest of the herd come together to perform fascinating rituals of grief. After a traumatic event, some parrots actually need to be given antidepressants. Veterinarians sometimes give them a form of Prozac that's safe for birds. Parrots need to go through the same steps that people do when they're getting over a loss. But back to Sinbad. As his owner lies in a hospital bed, Sinbad put his wing gently on her arm. He takes very good care of her, even though he knows she's dying. Sinbad is one of the sweetest parrots I've seen. Number 9. The heartbreaking way this dog is grieving his owner's death. Abraham Martinez, Jack's the dog's owner and best friend, was killed in a car accident when he was 21 years old. Abraham's sister says that since then, the German Shepherd has been moping around the house and hasn't eaten. When Jax was acting sad in front of Abraham's memorial, it showed their family that they aren't the only ones who were grieving the tragic loss. Just like people, each dog reacts to death in its own way. Some dogs seem to be perfectly fine, while others are very visibly sad. Some dogs develop health and or behavioral problems when they lose their owner. Even though we can see that dogs feel sad when another dog or owners die, they may not fully understand what death is and what it means on a metaphysical level. Number 8. Hippos Grieving Usually, 25 hippos hang out in this beautiful lagoon by the Chobe River, but on this day in September 2018, the pond looked empty except for a suspicious floating object. It was the body of a young hippopotamus, about six months old and the size of a regular pig. Suddenly, a female hippo appeared and swam quickly toward the dead animal. The distressed and confused female, likely the mother, and then the rest of the group tried to keep the body afloat and scared away hungry Nile crocodiles. The female also often blew bubbles around the body, which is a common way for hippos to communicate with each other. The study is the first scientific look at what may be going on when a hippo is grieving. Number 7. Rare footage of wild elephants mourning their dead. Thanks to ivory poachers who slaughter them in cruel ways, wild African elephants rarely make it to old age. So it's very rare that scientists get to watch elephants deal with the death of a long-standing leader of their family group. Shifra Goldenberg, who's studying for her PhD at Colorado State University, is one of the lucky ones. She was with Queen Victoria's, that's the elephant matriarch, not the actual queen, family, when she died of natural causes in 2013. She was one of the last old matriarchs to still be alive. When Goldenberg went back to the dead animal after a few weeks, she saw the elephants from three different families looking at the bones. Did they come to pay their respects? You can see how they look into the body, both curious and somber. 
Calves are walking by and sniffing it. Her family was worried about her because she wouldn't get up anymore. Elephants, like chimpanzees and dolphins, have been known for a long time to be able to show emotion and even empathy. But how they deal with death is still a mystery. Do they have the same sort of trait of sadness that people have? There are more and more examples, but the science still can't confirm. Elephants show respect for their dead, but we don't fully understand how they deal with death or what it means to them. Number 6. How Parrots React to Partner's Death Parrots can feel a wide range of different emotions. They form strong bonds with people and other birds, and when they're separated, they can show signs of distress. When a close friend dies, a parrot goes through a time of sadness and grief. When its owner, mate, or another animal dies, a parrot may feel truly sad. And parrots are smart in both social and emotional ways. Even though their feelings and relationships aren't as developed as humans, they're still very interesting. Parrots have close relationships with other birds and their flock, especially with their mates. When a bird that's close to it dies, it feels grief. This is especially apparent in parrots that only live with one other bird. This is because there's no other parrots left for them to hang out with, which makes them lonely and sad. Parrots also feel sad when they lose their young or their eggs. Luckily, the sadness doesn't last forever. The surviving parrot will eventually start acting normally again, especially if it's allowed to bond with another parrot. It's healthy to move on and make new friends. So how do you know if your parrot's sad? At first, you might not realize it's acting differently. This is because it could take a while for your parrot to realize that the friend is gone. There's no way to tell a parrot about death, which makes things even more difficult. You might see your parrot looking for a lost friend or family member. If your parrot can talk, it might call out its friend's name to find out where it is. Your parrot will notice that its friend is gone after a few days, and then you'll start to see signs of grief. Self-mutilation is one of the worst ways that parrots show their grief. Your parrot might start pulling out its own feathers or chewing or piercing its own skin. If this happens, it's best to seek help from a vet. Number 5. When Horses Say Goodbye There are some good reasons to think that horses, like people, may show signs of grief. Because horses tend to make friendships that last for a long time, it seems likely that they form attachments like we do. In the 1960s, John Bowlby came up with attachment theory to explain why people tend to form strong bonds with certain people. He said that attachment is hardwired, changes over time, and is important for survival. If these specific equine relationships are attachment relationships in the way that Bowlby defined them, then we'd expect horses to feel upset when they're separated and sad and die. Many researchers have come to the conclusion that animal grief is probably not as complicated or long-lasting as human grief. This is because it's too inefficient evolutionary-wise for an animal to be slowed down by grief when it has to deal with the daily business of staying alive. Animals aren't likely to do the kind of deep thinking that makes the grieving process so long and hard for us. But horses Horses remember painful events surprisingly well, and it's possible they feel the pain for a long time. Number 4. Heartbroken Cat Misses Her Dead Owner It's come to light that this cat misses her dead owner so much that she spent the last year living at her grave. The sad animal was first heard crying when it was laying in the graveyard in central Java, Indonesia. Kelly Kenegao Pratinyo, who was walking by, tried to adopt the cat, but it kept coming back to the same spot and rubbing up against a blue headstone. Every day, the pet walks to her old house, where the children of the old lady feed her, and then she walks back to her grave. Even though the people give it food and water, it won't leave the grave. It rolls around in the dirt and sleeps there every night. Kelly said that he's followed the cat and found out that it used to belong to an old woman named Kundari, who had just died. Even after being given new homes, the cat can still be seen at the grave day and night, even a year later. Kelly also said, we give the cat some food and water, but she still prefers to go home. Every day she visits the grave. This is one devoted kitty. Number 3. Donkeys Mourn Dead Donkey People are used to donkeys in stories acting like people. In Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore is almost always acting sad. In Shrek, Donkey is a smart talker, but donkeys in real life showing human emotions? Not often do you see that. But a new video from the Netherlands might show something amazing going on with these donkeys. In March of 2014, a place called Stitching de Elschove took in a donkey named Bram who was old and sick. Bram had lived most of his life with elderly people who were so careless with him that by the time he was saved, his hooves and lungs were too damaged to be healed. On that day, Vanderbergs made the hard choice to leave their local vet to put Bram to sleep. Later, when the other donkeys saw Bram's dead body on the ground, they crowded around it and brayed loudly. 
The leader of the herd, a black and white jack named Moefra, even bit and pushed Bram's body to try and wake him up. One of the volunteers at the sanctuary took a video of the whole thing. This video shows strong evidence that animals feel deep grief and loss. I don't know what's going on in the minds and hearts of these animals or if they have a concept of death that tells them their friend is gone for good, but I do see why anyone would say they are truly sad. Animals have been known to bray when they're very sad, and it's clear that these donkeys are very upset. Number 2. Kangaroo hugs her baby moments before she dies. This is a heartbreaking picture of a male kangaroo holding the head of his dead female friend as she reaches for her baby for the last time under a mango tree. Evan Switzer was taking a walk on a bushland property in Riverheads, a coastal town in Queensland near Fraser Island, Australia. He saw two marsupials holding onto each other in a sweet way. Or so he thought. But in fact, it was more tragic than that. The male is holding up the dead body of the mother by the neck. He seems to be very sad and is looking straight ahead. The baby kangaroo can only reach out and softly touch its mother with its paws. Then it stands up and moves to her side to protect her, but it's too late. Mr. Switzer, who likes to take pictures and walks his dog twice a day in the area, first noticed the kangaroos when he heard a strange thumping sound. He ran back home to get his camera, and when he came back, the male guardian was still in the same place. Mr. Switzer didn't know how the female, who didn't have any obvious wounds, came to be laying limp on the grass. But nature can be brutal, and in this case, a young family has been torn apart by the loss of its mother. Number 1. Africa's last polar bear mourns partner's death in South Africa. Now we're looking at a South African polar bear who died in a zoo after being heartbroken for months over the death of his partner. Wang, who was 28 years old and thought to be the last polar bear in Africa, had to be put down because his heart and liver were failing. The zoo said that Wang had been sad since the death of the polar bear GB in January. GB was Wang's partner at the zoo for 27 years. He was the only polar bear left at the zoo and the zoo said it has no plans to get any more. After GB died, the keepers tried to cheer Wang up by giving him special treats and even a Valentine's Day party. Wang was born in 1985, and a year later, as a part of a conservation exchange program with a zoo in Japan, he moved to the Johannesburg Zoo. Wang wouldn't let zookeepers take GB's body for a day after she died. After the bear's partner died, he became quite aggressive when keepers tried to remove her body. He just wanted one last day with her before letting her go. So what are your thoughts on animal grief? Do they experience emotions the same way that we do? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!